like if you give too much information to your visitors, they won't get any information. So sometimes it's better to get rid of some information for sake of letting that some information stick with your visitors. All right, let's get into another design review where I design review designs. Today I picked some landing pages and we will be checking some landing pages, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, why I do like it, why I don't like it. And I will also try to think like why the designers made the choices they made, because I believe this is a great way to refine uh, your design taste and my design taste. And I genuinely do this every time I start some new design project. If you are a designer, it's great. If you are not a designer and you are planning to hire a designer, it's also good to have a little bit of a taste so you can pick the best designer for you. Okay, let's start with guide web design for travel agency. I picked this one because of the illustration, because this is a great way and a beautiful way to really make your hero section unique. Uh, you need to have the beautiful illustration that is really made just for your project. So there is a space for your uh, headline and other stuff. Uh, but I really like it. Like it's a nice illustration, well made to fit the design. One thing or two things. First thing is that like, right now it's a fixed width um, and it works. But what if, what if like how it will look like if there is like a huge screen? The illustration needs to play with that and it needs to just fit there somewhere. So it's like not just for example like on this side there is a huge blob of green or whatever. So just think about that. Another thing is that there are too many CTAs in my opinion. Like learn more popular places, search here activities, choose a date and then go. I would just consider choosing one. So for example learn more uh, or search but button popular places even I would put it without the like button background here just the text with underline for example would be understandable and not visual heavy or to be honest I would just put this um, here like go to action straight okay good job anyway let's move to corporate website for digital agency yeah I picked this one because I wasn't sure how to feel about it how do you feel about it like for me, it's too broken. The structure, it's it's too hard to digest, which I like can understand why the designer made his choice, uh, Lily. I did this too sometimes uh, in the past to make the design unique and bold, but um, to be honest, it's pretty hard. Like it's a big challenge. And if you don't manage it, it might be just for the worse and not for the better. So for example, like this structure, mobile and web app development, then the text here, then the button here, agency, the scroll button here doesn't make sense, like it should be there. I like the use of the emoji, but like it should be there. Also, it's not really needed to have the scroll. Like there are studies that 95% of people on the internet know that they might they have to scroll or they try to scroll. The button doesn't really seem like a button. Italic text in buttons doesn't work pretty well. And there is no shadow. There's nothing kind of, nothing showing you that it's clickable button. I like the really subtle gradient here and I like the style kind of, it's simple, not shouty, which, which I really like, but the structure is a bit broken. Hmm. Yeah, it, it can work here, for example, like this, this can work. Uh, it's not too much because like our team and the, um, and, and the subtext, so your mind works uh, or it will work in your mind. I also like this section. Again, only thing is that it's important to think about how it will look on a bigger screen like is it is this part going to be endless so you will have this main part like of this our team blah 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 blah, blah and then one part is like going to the to the side it, it might look weird right and now many of us have big monitors so just think about that and yep then this uh, again i don't really like it for example contact us and then the text here it doesn't make sense like it, it, it's it, it's not hard to digest because it's simple but it's it's, it's weird it doesn't look inviting. So yeah, I, I would not be, I would be more conservative uh, with the design here. Cool, another website. Yeah, for example, someone could tell this is a basic website uh, that looks like a template, but I would argue that it's maybe better to go for this kind of style and look than this kind of style and look. Anyway, what I like about it is the, is this illustration slash photo. It makes it playful. Uh, I don't like how it's cut out, but that's that's um, that's just more work. I don't like the button that much. It's not again inviting. It's not plastic. It doesn't want you to click on it that much. Uh, but it works. One thing I don't like that much: the price strike. Like it's it's too similar, and it's you then you you cannot properly see that it's a striked price. You know. So for example, this is much better way to do it. Like the striked price is smaller. It has 
less less opacity so it's it's not so saturated i like that more or for example Veed, which is a great app to edit videos by the way and we love to use it on their pricing page if you go for monthly you can see monthly pricing page when if you go to annually you can see the the, the price here it's red it's not striked um, just a little bit striked and that you cannot see that clearly but it's striked so you can immediately see okay this is the previous price this is my current price so for example putting this red smaller striked clear 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 clearly clear, you know what i mean would work better also i don't know what this <laughs> what this element does like it rotates what i don't know i would have to see the whole website but it just doesn't make any sense right now let's move to podcast talent agency landing page which is close to our field so yeah let's get on to it i like the illustration i like how the illustration is anchored again need to think about how it will look on the wider screen but i think it will be okay um what i don't like is this spacing these three elements they should have the same space between them you know like it doesn't make sense. I would make this button a bit bigger and even maybe more saturated because this illustration is pretty saturated. So like, let's make it also saturated um, and little bigger, little higher line height here. Yeah, line height, man, there's a challenge. Line height is a challenge. Like so many designers get it wrong and even I do and I try my best. And there is a calculator online. You can just like put your font into that, your width of the text uh your font size and it will calculate you the correct line height which look really beautiful and line height like generally copy text makes 50 percent of the website not not just the font not just the font but the, the line height the, the character spacing all these things they make a lot a lot a lot and generally spacing in general makes a lot big part of your design the white space huge part of your design <laughs> Hmm. Is it like one, two, three? Because the, the, the copy doesn't make that much sense. Like create a brand mentorship with us, maybe get mentored by us or something like that and start publishing. Oh, sorry. My second son started vacuuming. So yeah, I would consider making the, I would consider making the copy clear, clear again, this word, or get rid of the one, two, three, just put the illustrations there. It would maybe be even better. I would also put a little bigger space between them, you know, like, here, this space, a little bigger, this space, a little bigger. Yeah, our talent is kind of nice. I'm not sure if this font size is same as this font size. And it wouldn't make that much sense, right? If this is smaller and this is bigger. So again, like that's the play with the, with the, with the fonts, with the copy, with the text. Just make sure it makes sense. Like this text for me is the same text as this and then as this. So it should be just the same size. I would also make these avatars a bit bigger because like our talent, I want to see the people. I, I cannot see anything here. GoBarta, landing page for GoBarta. What do you guys think about it? What do you think about it? I like the headline, definitely. I like how organically it's under the, the organic underline here that takes at your attention and put it on the spot where it matters, but this doesn't make sense, right? Like the copy is uh, obviously just a placeholder, but highlighting important message like this is a good thing to do. I like it. It was uh, the showcase of the app is nice. Maybe if it would be a little gift, it would be nice. I don't like the input. Like it doesn't make it doesn't make sense because there is the input and in the input there is the button. Like it should be input and then the button. Uh, also, this space is not working for me. I guess like all these spaces should be the same or this should be a little bit bigger, but not that much. Also, the text is really small in the input as it is. So maybe smaller input or a little bigger text. I would get rid of this again, uh, not needed in my opinion. And then this section, the alignment is broken, I think, because you go here and you start reading this because it's high, right? But then why there is the headline? So maybe get rid of the headline, but the headline is kind of important, mostly sometimes even just for anchoring the, the, the text somewhere, um, like visually. So just put this in the same line height as this one. Moving on, next design that is sideways. Why do you do this? Just to get likes? Oh my god! Um, yeah, just to just to show you, this is a, in my opinion, proper line height um, for this kind of width of the text and 
that element, it's easy to read, it's easy to digest. I, I like the line height of this, really like it. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm not sure. I, <laughs> it's, it's tilted, <laughs> come on. And this one, this one is so good. There's a person in the middle, which is really a great way to uh, empathize with your visitors, to make it more human, to make it more welcoming. So great play with the photography. If you have the option to have photography like this, um, to make it, to have it make for, made for your website, definitely go for it. And if you are able to put it into the design, like illustrations are great, better than nothing, but photo well put in the design. Uh, uh, really nice. Again, great play with the headline highlight. You can see here there are nice spacings, so it like works visually. The button is just that you want to click it. Uh, it's like, it's juicy. Uh, play video button, not too loud, but it's there and you clearly, come on this word. You clearly can see that you can play a video and then um, a quote. So social proof kind of, again, humanization of the website immediately. Uh, the first site, really well made hero section. Also, I like how it's switched. The, the logo is not on the left, which is common. It's in the center, but it works pretty well because of the, because this picture, the human is vi visually the, the anchor kind of. So it's, it's in lines. So kind of tough structure here, but it works really well. Great way to put company logos, great social proof. Uh, always try to have more than three, ideally more than five, like less than three or less, it's looking like, uh, so they get only this. So mm, I like how they are, they are not colored, so they don't uh, shout too loud, but it's like, hey, we got these, these great companies use our, our software. This section, this section is a bit overwhelming for me, like too many things at once. Maybe it's because uh, it's a bit upscaled, I think right now, because of the, because of the zoom of dribble so maybe this this is probably how it will look like in in real life so that's better to digest but there still there is a lot i would get rid of these crosses it's just too much also these look kind of out of place i would maybe try also putting this avar somewhere here like there's a space but i'm not, I'm not sure I, I would maybe try to play with a box that would put all of this on the right side uh, into one kind of bracket box element so it's easy for my mind to digest it like this is one part this is second part and then put the awards over it so it stands out and make it like hey cool awards i would maybe i'm not sure if why this is kind of off alignment it's sometimes like that when you type and you put a list it's off alignment but i'm not sure if it works here again because there is too much in the play so i would make it simpler just align it in the same uh, line but guys, like <laughs> criticizing design is always so much easier than designing the design um, for the first time or I don't know, like working on design. So just take everything I say here with a grain of salt because after the battle, everyone is general, right? So kudos to all these designers. They did amazing work, but it's that is just a nice way to refine your design feeling. I like this. This is beautiful, like visually pleasure uh, to look at it. Pleasure, that's pleasuring, pleasuring to look at it. Amazing. Again, I will get rid of this maybe. Uh, it's just too much and and break the structure here for me. But this is really nice. Like you can immediately say what's going on, like what all the insurances they offer. I am just right now thinking if, uh, like it's insurance landing page. And to be honest, I'm not feeling like it's insurance landing page. And that's, um, I think it's because of the copy. I don't think the copy is final. But I don't have the feeling of insurance out of it. Yeah, I would maybe consider, for example, because there's a lot of text and it's, it's hard to digest for a brand, brain and you tend to scroll over it. I would maybe suggest like getting rid of all this text on the left, which is lorem ipsum, and just putting these, the main thing. So you can see like insurance we offer, da 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 and no text. Like if you give too much information to your visitors, they won't get any information. So sometimes it's better to get rid of some information for sake of letting that some information stick with the, with your visitors. I think a lot of this is because there is lorem ipsum I can see now. So, <laughs> so that has a lot to do with that. Again, this is really nice. For example, this is kind of broken structure, but it works. Uh, 
so it's a challenge to do broken out of structure website, but if it's done well, it's nice and it's unique for, for this style. So you can immediately see that if you switch from monthly payment to annual payment, there's a saving that's good and the plans. But again, I'm not sure I understand like the plans and what they want to tell sell to me, but that's, that's because of the copy. Um, this, 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 I like this. You can see that the first section is visually heavy. It's dark, but then it's light, 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 light. And then you go and it's dark again. And that's really good because it kind of uh, pack the whole website at the end, which is nice and uh, kind of like in the underlying well tell, tell to you is ah, you are at the end and this is the next step for you. Like, let's get started. Let's get started your insurance. Start now. This is where it ends. Um, good job. Really good job on this one. I would be happy to see it in the final stage with the copy because that's always really important, right? Cool. That's it. If you liked it, uh, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. That makes sense, right? If you have your own design, uh, I would be happy to look at it. Leave it in your comments and I will review it in the next video. And next time I will be watching maybe on some apps like dashboards, web apps, mobile apps. Not sure. I will pick something. Bye. Have a good day.